Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create this orange and teal colour grading effect in Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it is the very first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So in this tutorial guys, I'm going to show you how you can create this orange and teal colour grading effect in Photoshop. Now this effect works really nicely if you're, you're shooting in an organic environment. So if you're shooting maybe in a forest or in a garden. But it doesn't work really well if you're shooting in an urban environment. So do take that into consideration when you're wanting to apply this effect to a photo. Now if you do want to have a look at any of my pre-selected photos that I find work really well with this uh, particular effect, also it will be the same photo that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, then go ahead to the link in the description and you'll be able to download it from there. But without further ado guys, let's get started. Right guys, so once you've got onto your computer, first thing you want to do is obviously load Photoshop. And again guys, if you'd like to use the same photo that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, the link is in the description. Lovely, so what we want to do is we want to create a lovely orange and teal colour grading effect. And we can do this by using just a few adjustment layers. So, firstly once you've chosen the image, what you want to do is go to your adjustment layer icon, which is at the bottom right hand corner. You want to click it, and then what you want to do is go up to where you can see it says hue and saturation. And what we want to do here is remove any other color that isn't either orange or teal. So we can do this by clicking on the master icon at the top here. And as you can see, a bunch of colors appear. So what we want to do is we want to go to where it says yellows. We want to completely remove the yellows. We want to completely remove the greens. We want to completely remove the blues. And then we also want to completely remove the magentas. So we end up with an effect that looks similar to this. But what we need to do now is just fix the uh, skin tones and then we also want to start applying a few little bit more sort of cyan in the neutrals and blacks. And we can do this by creating a selective colour layer. So again guys, go down to your adjustment layer icon which is the bottom right hand corner and the one right at the bottom you can see where it says selective colour. So when we say that selective colour it's very similar to hue and saturation but it's, it can be a little bit more uh, precise with how you can add or detract colours. So what we can do is go to where it says colours again and we want to go and see where it can select reds and what we want to do is select minus 50 for the cyans because what that will do is because red is the opposite of cyan it will boost the reds which is perfect for skin tones or anything with this red. And then what we want to do is go down to yellows and again we want to do something very similar we want to remove all of the reds, uh, remove all the cyan from the reds so we can do that, we'll take it all the way down to the minus 100 and with magentas we want to increase the magentas in the yellows so we'll do that just like so and as you can see it's brought the skin tones to more of an orangey look which is great. So again what we want to do is we want to go down to where you can see it says neutrals which is right at the bottom here and this is where we want to start adding in cyans and blues and we can do that by again adding cyan to the neutrals so we will add in 20% like so. And as you can see, it completely covers it with more of a neutral um, cyan tone. And then with the yellows, we want to remove the yellows because yellow is the opposite of blue. And we can do that by pressing minus 10. And as you can see, it's added blue to the image. And then what we want to do is very something very similar to black. So we'll do 10 cyan for black, so that's increase of 10% and a decrease of 10% for yellow. And we end up with an effect that looks similar to this. But what we want to do now is uh, add a little bit more of a matte texture to it because I find that works really nice when you're applying it for a photo like this. So what we can do is go down to our adjustment layers icon, we can go all the way up to where it says curves and we can just increase the blacks ever so slightly by just dragging the right hand side up just ever so slightly and then reducing it in the mid-tones. Lovely. And then probably just add a little bit more of maybe a contrast to it. Lovely. Now if you're finding this effect is a little bit too strong, what you can do is always just simply reduce the opacity of that chosen layer. So I find the selective colour is probably a little bit too strong, so what we can do is just reduce the opacity just like so. 
And if I reduce it down to around 50%, I think that's worked really nicely. And there is the before and after. And there we go, guys. So that is how you can create an orange and teal color grading effect in Photoshop. Brilliant, and there we go, guys. So that is how you can create this orange and teal color grading effect in Photoshop. And I must say, this is one of my favorite color grading techniques. Again, guys, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. But until next time, guys, keep creating.